Hello, welcome to 40k chat. I'm Scott, and I've just watched the first episode of Hammer and Bolter. Obviously, there will be spoilers in this, so you have been warned. Okay, let's start with the synopsis. So, we start off with a runt herder saving his grot from two young boys, and then he goes in to tell the tale of Gaz and Yarrick during the Hades Hive Walk. Gaz is struggling to kill Yarrick, so he sends one of his best war bosses, a snakebite character called Uggleheart. Yarrick chops off his head but loses his arm in the process. Yarrick then takes Uggleheart's power claw and has his eye implanted. Gaz attacks again but is pushed away by the Blood Angels. Yarrick then gives chase to Gaz across the galaxy. In doing so, he himself gets captured by Gaz. Yarrick is a slave for a while, but manages to rally the humans against the orcs. Yarrick then blows up where they're being held captive and accepts his death. In a turn, Gaz actually heals Yarrick because in his words, good enemies is hard to find. Gaz then goes about his life, chasing dreams of the big war, and Yarrick waits for the day where they'll meet again. The Runt Herder then gives advice to the two boys, saying if you want to get big and strong, you have to find a worthy enemy. At this point, the two boys turn to the Runt Herder and ask if he has an enemy similar to Yarrick. The Runt Herder reveals that he too has fought Yarrick, and he's lost his leg in the process. So that's the entire synopsis. My initial thoughts were, I loved it, to be honest. It felt like a Saturday morning cartoon, but with blood, as you can see from these images, it's fairly gory for the style, and it reminds me of those old school Saturday morning cartoons. The length is 20 minutes, which is actually longer than I expected because I thought most of these were, were probably going to be between kind of 8 and 10 minutes. I thought they were going to be kind of short content, but this felt like a, a full story, nicely done. It didn't feel rushed. I'm not sure if this means that we're going to get a few episodes of this runt herder telling tales to the boys. I think I'd quite like that because we could cover quite a lot of history and the runt herder and the boys, their dynamic is actually quite it's quite funny and it's quite interesting. And there's actually quite a lot of comedy in this. So I wouldn't mind seeing that. Creatively, I think the animation is gorgeous. I think the sound design is great. I think the voice acting is really good. Uh, the music is also great. At six minutes in, there's a track that sounds a lot like Barracuda by Heart uh, from the late 70s, which I absolutely loved when there was a massive battle going on. It's so stylized this, there's so many aspect ratio changes, sometimes it's 4 by 3 sometimes it's 16 by 9 sometimes it's 235 to 1 and it all changes depending on where we are in the story and there'll be a lot of like comic-like slides. Those are my initial thoughts and honestly I can't wait to watch the next one. With everything going on with Games Workshop at the minute, I didn't want to like this as much as I did, but I can't deny that this was incredible and exactly what I wanted and what I would want from a streaming service that Games Workshop is providing, so I can't wait to see the next one. What do you guys think?